G'day everyone and welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'm Nat, this is my Knackers Yard. Uh, this is, uh, well, that's kit, all running good, day bike. Uh, that is Kermit, oh excuse me, Kermit. Brill, ready for MOT. Uh, wrong, ready for MOT, ready for new tyres. Um, and then an MOT. I have just um, chucked some black on that, on the rubbish bit. That's difficult to get to because I'm slightly penned in here because it was pissing down this morning when I was doing this. But yeah, just a little bit of black to tart it up. Um, just just looks better. It's only it's only um, paint paint as in paintbrush paint. Um, yeah, I've had to come back to um, to sting because it's pissing me off more than anything else. Um, I got hold of Alex, who I bought the bike from, who went from no spark to spark and said, what what magic spell did you use, mate? No, it just, you know, when did it come back? And his bit was, uh, he was saying, you've got the ECU back in there. Um, uh, saying, well, I was put poking in some, um, uh, some line testers and it seemed to spark back. So I've had a poke around those wires and at some point, because it's, because you move it when you're taking the carb in and out, I think it's just snagged one of them, but it's back in and it's sparking, sparking on all four, which is brill, which is absolutely brilliant, really good. And also, and we're back in. Now there is a slight issue with this. And it's, is it gonna do it again? We have a Niagara Falls situation of fuel because the freaking car's leaking again. <laughs> right, so we've got noise, it runs, all four are hot and it's pissing fuel and it's out the join between carb three and carb four. Um, so where I put the grommets in to do it before, it's just not, it's just not holding it, which is a proper, proper pisser. Uh, I could try is to see whether or not I can just pinch that carb closer together. Maybe I haven't done it well enough. I don't think that's it. I think it's gonna to have to be carb off again. Let me jump in front of you a second. Um, and see if I can pinch it together a bit more, but I doubt it. I think it's fucking carb off again. <laughs> I hate this bike. Um, I know uh, I shouldn't, but it's just times when uh, when it's just all a bit much, and this is one of them. I think that's just free spinning. And get eight mil on the other side as well. Um, yeah, it shouldn't personalise bikes. Shouldn't take it see it personally, but this bike is just really pissing me off. Um, just refuses to play nicely and I'll get there eventually but it'll piss me off several times on the way through um, and the problem is while I'm doing all of this I just keep catching little bits of paint and fucking it up um, See if that'll make any difference. I doubt it. But maybe I just didn't pinch it together enough. Right, so I've got, it's all just, I'm not sure how much you're gonna be able to see from uh, from where you are. Let me pull you in a little bit. Let me give you a, a really dirty view of it. There we go. So it's the black rubber pipe in the middle uh, is what I'm gonna need you to watch. That one because it's all just pissing out the top. Now, I don't know if this is going to make any difference at all. We shall see. <laughs> well, 
that was a quick answer, wasn't it? The answer to that is a fairly categorical no. It's just pouring out the top. Uh, and it's, and it's not coming over the edge there. It is coming higher. So it is from the main body, which to me is the join of those carbs. So that means these carbs are coming off again. But I'll tell you one thing, it's not fucking happening now. Um, Apologies, it's really blowy. This mic's probably picking it all up. things are sent to try us aren't they um right um i'm I, i'm really happy that well wrong i'm really happy i'm really happy it's leaking no i'm not i'm really fucking annoyed by it but um i know what it is it's in the car i know what it is i know what's wrong with it um i may film in the week fixing it probably not oh, i don't know i don't know it's, it's a it's a kitchen job uh, throughout the evening i think um it's just to strip these motherfuckers again um, yeah, I know exactly what it is and where it is. Um, yeah, it's a ball's ache. It is an utter ball's ache. Uh, but it's got to be done. Uh, it's got to be done. Um, yeah, really short update on this one because I really haven't got that much to go through. Um, uh, I haven't spoken to Hayden yet because, weirdly enough, it's a weekend. Um, I'll give him a bell on Monday um, and see when he's available. Oh, I, I might risk, I might risk booking them both in, uh, but I've got to get that carb sorted because it's really winding me up. Right, really, really short update um, this one because I haven't really got a lot more to do um, apart from setting fire to this fucking thing. No, I'm, I'm joking. I know what I'm joking. Nah, I'm partly joking. I know what's wrong with it now. Um, there are very few little idiosyncrasies that this bastard could throw back at me, um, but I've got it pretty much set now. Um, I'm really, I'm looking. It's weird. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to selling on Kermit because it's a fucking lovely bike, and somebody is going to absolutely love it um, and do really well out of it. I'm looking forward to getting rid of this because it's fucking cursing me. <laughs> I want it out of my shop. Um, it struck me yesterday, actually. I've kind of got the big three here. Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha. Um, I've played with other bikes and Chinese bikes and this, that and the other, but in, in hierarchy of stuff that I think I'm going to do in the future, or stuff that I want to do in the future, that's at the bottom. Um, I know I'm going to upset people by bad mouthing Hondas and they're built to last, they're, you know, they're bulletproof, they go on forever. I just don't like them. I don't know what it is. Uh, I, I really don't know what it is. They, they just screw with my head a little bit. Similar with Kawasaki, I've, I've had a few and uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, they're, they're, they're cycles of love-hate, it seems to be. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, even when you look back at the Eliminator, it's, you know, it, it, it's really a bit of love-hate stuff going on with Kawasaki's. Yamahas I seem to love. You look at my Diversion, uh, Dave, you look at this. Um, oh, I don't know, there's just something about Yamahas. But anyway, that's my, my simple simple ramblings going through. Um, so what? So what next? Um, it may be a video on this getting MOT'd or this getting new rubber and then MOTs. I'm fucking well happy with it. I really am. Um, beautiful bike runs beautifully. Um, and I'll sort this pig out at some stage because I've just fallen out of love with it and I just need to get it done and gone, I think. Um, it just keeps winding me up. Right, really short uh, update today. Um, uh, lots of other stuff going on today um, for the kids for Halloween and stuff so uh, not a lot of time to play um, I'm going to chuck it all back together so it's all in one piece rather than it's together uh, and then I'm going to have to go through the, that fucking carb again uh, again <laughs> uh, uh, well uh, if it was simple everyone would do it and it is relatively simple and everyone should at least try <laughs> cheers all thanks for subscribing thanks for watching 
Uh, I'll catch you later. Hopefully uh, not setting light to this. But it's tempting. <laughs> Cheers all to that. Thank you.